Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've been sending in your texts all evening. Let's have a quick look and see what you've sent. Hmm. Are you related to Alan Carr? It's Jamie in the front row. Yeah, I'm his mum. <laughs> Hello, me and my daughter Laura from Dunstable are coming to your show. Good, well done. <laughs> it's nearly her birthday, Jimmy, and you're her idol. Could you say happy birthday? Thanks. Aww. I could do better than that. Bring her backstage, I'll finger her. <laughs> She's 18, I checked. <laughs> I've got a text that just says, Swindon is wonderful. <laughs> the answer is B, no. <laughs> oh, here's one. Happy 18th birthday, Alan. Love, Emma and Zach. And then, P.S., this is your birthday present, we're skint. <laughs> Where are Emma and Zach? There, hello. So, Emma and Zach, you club together to get free tickets. <laughs> they don't like you. <laughs> do you have any grooming tips? Yeah, it's illegal, don't do it. <laughs> oh, here's one. Where's Jack D? <laughs> He's here somewhere, we lost him. He's only little. Oh, that's from Jack D. <laughs> One of my favourite things to do with the phone is if you're in the pub with your friends and you've all got mobiles and someone nips for a pee, what we do is we send a text from their phone to someone in their address book. It's the best fun ever. We sent one to my friend Ian's girlfriend from his phone when he went for a pee. We sent her the text, don't worry, she'll never find out. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Another good one. This is a good one to send to everyone in their address book. Send all. Yeah, we sent the following text. I found out your secret. Can't talk now. Text me. <laughs> we got back, like, you know, 50 texts from people going, what, what are you talking about? One of our mates, Damo, sent back one word. How? <laughs> this is a good thing to text your mum. I'm safe. Don't worry and then turn off the phone for an hour. <laughs> they go mental. I don't like, you know when something tragic happens, something horrible happens in the world, and we have a minute silence? I don't like that. I'm not a fan of the minute silence. I don't think we should do it anymore. I don't think it's a very British thing, the minute silence. We're not sort of like that as a nation. I think what we should do is 10 seconds tutting. <laughs> the next time there's a tragedy around the world and people say it's minute silence, let's not do it. Let's do 10 seconds tutting. Let's give it a go now. Ten seconds starting, starting now. <laughs> Throw in the odd side. Oh. <laughs> that sounded rather beautiful. <laughs> it was like grasshoppers. <laughs> the thing I like about that is if anyone didn't like it, they probably went, oh. My favourite thing I ever did with a mobile phone was there was a guy down the front where you're sitting. It was in Liverpool, right at the end of the gig, and he was just sorting out where he was going for a drink later on. So I nicked the phone off him. But when in Rome... <laughs> I nicked the phone, but I didn't have a plan for what to do with it, so I scrolled through his address book. I found his dad was in his phone. I double dare anyone here to send this message to their dad. I sent from this young guy, who was about 18 years of age, I sent his dad a message saying, I'm in the bath thinking of you. I put the phone down. Within about 30 seconds, his dad came back with a rather epic, you better sort your fucking life out, son. 